Hi and welcome back. In the previous video you've created an intent that extracted parameters from user input with the help of entities. Before we go and create a backend app, I want to show you something else. I want to show you pre-built agents. Pre-built agents are, as the name suggests, agents with a set of intents already pre-built for us. Go to pre-built agents in the navigation. Here is the whole list of them, a lot of pre-built agents for us. For example, if you plan to build a bot that will help your visitors search restaurants, cafes and bars, you would import the dining out pre-built agent. Let me show you how. I will click the import button here and select a new project. I don't want to import it to existing one. I want to see if any of predefined intents would be useful for me. I first want to look at them, modify them, and then decide which I'm going to add to my agent. This import takes a while. I'll pause right here. Ok, and here we go. The import has created a new agent, it did not import intents into our existing project, which I like. I would not want to mix all my existing intents with a new one. Now I have a new agent called Dining Out. Let's first see the entities. A whole lot of entities was created for us. Like dish that has chicken steak, burrito, bagel and many things that make me hungry right now. It's like 5 pages of dishes predefined for us. And if we go back, we have other entities like venue eating out type. Click on it. Here we see fast food, tea house and more. I could remove some of those or add some of mine. I'll go back. Especially here under venue eating out title, I would add my local places. Right now it has 306 pages of places I don't know. Ok. When I would be finished with entities I would go and check intents. So click on the intents. Click on the venues eating out, search. Here we see training phrases like find restaurants, cafe with wifi, all the possible searches a user could have. And we have three outgoing contexts. This means that everything a user would say after this would be inside this context. Let me explain a little bit more. For example, our user is looking for cafe with wifi. Cafe is recognized as a venue type, down here and free wifi is recognized as venue facility. Action is venues eating out search. This information would be sent to back an app where this action would be handled. We would perform a query, a search to find a coffee nearby with available wifi. Yes, predefined agents do mean that Dialogflow will perform searches or set alarms or play music. It just means that intents are predefined but we need to do the backend logic. Like in this case. We need to find a nearby cafe. We could modify this intent and add more training phrases. And in the same manner we would look at all the intents and modify them. When we have the intents we want to use, we'd go to all intents and check the ones we want. I will check all of them. So, location, open, sort, all of them. And then I can select move. With this I can move them to my existing agent. And yes, of course I want to copy related entities. And I don't want to overwrite intents. Up here I would select the destination agent. Therefore our agent. But ok, let's stop here. I won't move them since my bot will not provide dining out information. But this is how I would use pre-built agents. And if I'm doing some service from predefined agents like booking flights, this would save a lot of time. Ok, so yes, for some of you pre-built agents will save a lot of time. But if your bot is doing something specific for your business, then you'll be creating intents and entities on your own. Before we proceed, let me show you one more thing. It's a sort of pre-built agent that is by default enabled for us. In the next video, we'll talk about Smalltalk. See you soon. Bye.